Hi everyone, this is Sedan from Car Inspected and today we're taking a look at uh, this 2013 uh, Ford Mustang Premium. We're at uh, Duval Mazda and the South Shore of Montreal. This is just a walk around video highlighting any imperfections on the car. So as you can see here there is some bubbling on the paint just on the um, on the corner of the hood. Paint thickness Everything was consistent with original paint, but you can see some here as well. It's very hard to see uh, without getting close to the vehicle. Uh, you won't be able to see it from this distance unless it was highlighted. Um, the brakes and the, well the tires tires are still good for this season the brakes are new rotors and pads they're all rims exhibit this ah, it's weird I don't know what it is and it's on all of the spokes most of the spokes the car is dirty The uh, windshield is original. Seems like there was a service done on it by Duval Mazda. Side profile, I don't see anything that is major. Um, very, very small blemishes, but really there is nothing that I can highlight from uh, the visual here. Underbody, you'll see it's very clean small amount of surface rust on the exhaust uh, pipes themselves the underbody is in good condition roof roof is in good condition as well no tears uh, no excessive rubbing on uh, on the rooftop, usually right around the creases here. Faint thickness was verified on all of the panels. This one is a little, little thicker, but you can go on the side. See? The reason for the discrepancy here between the top and the side is when it's painted, the the paint would actually, uh, well, it would tend to fall due to gravity and it would collect at the bottom where here it doesn't have any possibility of, of moving in any direction once it's sprayed on. So technically the flat panels, if they are painted that way on the car, like this for example, this is part of the car, so if this was say 150 but then when you look at the vertical it's thinner and it's thinner there too so the paint would actually fall off a little bit and the car is dirty but I don't see anything that is um, problematic no dents that I can see. Again, you see the brakes in the back. They're new. Tires are Pirelli, manufactured in 2014. Rotors, discs are new. That's just surface rust on them. All windows are showing the Ford uh, car light windshield as well. Original built uh, sticker on the windshield.
we were uh, told to pay attention to see if the uh, passenger side um, seat has an electronic or uh, if it's a motorized seat it is partially motorized you can see the handle in the back um, there oh. and the electrical part is um, in front of it floor mats are carpet interior looks good I don't know if you can see the scratches on the center console around the gear shifter and that chrome piece that's behind it other than that it looks good it looks good just in case you were uh, wondering there is a little bit of a discoloration here but I'm just cleaning the area Do a paint thickness here. It's consistent. Yep. Again, so if I was to highlight something, it would be this and this spot here. And the plastic uh, wear. But other than that, really, I, I'm just being really picky. Um, other than that, the car exterior looks uh, pretty good. Pretty good when compared to others of uh, the same age and mileage. That can be cleaned off. Should be. Should be able to clean that off. Little stone chip here. Again, I'm just being really picky. As you can see the adjustments on the driver side, the electronic adjustment. Seems like the driver side has the lumbar support where the passenger side does not. Again, very, very uh, little things, but I'm, I'm being picky just knowing these cars and uh, knowing where to look for imperfections. But the roof is very good. It has a rim lock here, so uh, make sure that you get the keys for these. Again, dirt. All right. Well, this has been Sinan from Car Inspected, and that was a walk around inspection on this uh, 2013 Mustang Premium. Thank you for watching.